Quick tip today on how to turn any compressor into a look ahead one with zero attack time and what uses you could have for it. Let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome back to Mixbus TV Mixing and Mastering Tutorials on YouTube. I'm your host David and in this video I want to show you this quick and easy technique to make any plug-in compressor to work with zero attack time and catch peaks very much like a brick wall limiter. Any compressor, no matter how fast it is, has an attack time. But with this trick you can make it react instantaneously with literally zero attack time to the material. This is probably not something new for many of you guys but I had to do this for a mix I was doing and since this is something I haven't needed to do in a while I thought this video could be useful for those of you who don't know this trick and a reminder for those who already know it. You will say why didn't you use a limiter? Well, two reasons. First one is brick wall limiters are, yes, transparent, but pretty aggressive. They don't have a variable ratio and they tend to really flatten the transients. And in this particular case, the track I was working on, a percussive acoustic guitar that plays the beat, like kick and snare, along with the melody, the kick part, so to speak, was also being catched by the limiter, which I didn't want, and was also creating distortion. In short, I didn't need to annihilate the transient, but tame it very precisely, even because this song was a guitar and vocals only track, and it would have been very apparent otherwise. So let's take a look at what did I do. So here's the track, I muted the vocals to have you focus only on the guitar, and for the guitar I had three tracks, I had a DI, a mono mic, and a stereo pair. Let's listen to it. So you have an idea of what the guitar part is and as you can see from the waveform there are these tall transients which are the percussive part, the kick and the snare part. And there's a big difference between those and the melody part. The dynamic range was a little bit too much for me and the song. So as you can see from my outputs I sent these three tracks to a stereo bus which is this, this guitar bus here. And here is where the processing that we are talking about today took place. I used the FabFilter Pro C as a compressor, which has at its fastest an attack time of 0.50 milliseconds. And uh, it wasn't enough for me. It wasn't catching the snare snap transients. So I had to do something to solve it. And what did I do was to copy the DI track, which is this. I copy it up here and as you can see here I made the output inactive and sent this track to a bus, in this case bus 81. Then I went to our FabFilter Pro C and next to the key I selected the same bus and activated the external side chain. So now the compressor is being triggered by the copy of the DI track. But we still have the 50 millisecond attack problem. And the solution to the problem was, I'm gonna redo it right now, was to copy the track and press Alt H and shift the copy of the DI track earlier by 50 milliseconds. As you can see, now it's 50 milliseconds ahead from the DI track and all the others guitar tracks. This way I made my compressor zero attack time. Take a look at the graphic. You can clearly see the compression is happening before pretty much the output, because this bus is playing the, the original guitar tracks. So this way my compressor has effectively a zero attack time. You can do this with any other compressor that has an external sidechain. Let's hear it with and without. Pay attention to the snap, to the snare part.
also, like I said, I didn't use a limiter because this way I could tailor the ratio, I could tailor the release. I needed to be precise for this. I wanted to snap, but I wanted to snap a little bit less than it was. Let's exaggerate the settings so you can hear the effect. It's pretty obvious this way. I had to use many other weird techniques on this track to make it work, and I'll probably show you some of them in future videos. But this is it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to click the like button. Join us on Facebook and Twitter is the best way to keep in touch with us, be updated about news, new uploads, and everything that is going on with the channel. Support Mixbus TV by sharing the videos on social media, forum, blogs, anything you can think about. Subscribe if you haven't already, and see you next time.